Tonight, that mass shooting in downtown Orlando, 10 people injured, two dead early Friday morning. And tonight, police and city leaders have reacted swiftly to prevent more violence. Bar owners are now forced to close early, and people partying will be forced to go home early under a state of emergency curfew. And this comes as we're learning the names of the people who lost their lives Halloween night. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Ank, and glad you're with us on this Saturday. Today, Orlando police told us who was killed in the mass shooting. 25-year-old Tyrek Hill and 19-year-old Timothy Schmidt Jr. Seven others were shot and survived, and another was sent to the hospital after being trampled. The suspect, just 17 years old, police say opened fire on a downtown crowd and will stay locked up in juvenile detention. This morning, that suspect, Jalen Edgar, was expected to have his first appearance, but it was waived. Instead, his mom was there. News Six's Emily McLeod was also in that courtroom. Jalen Edgar was expected in court Saturday morning. Even though the teen's first appearance was waived, his mother was still there. Are you the parent and legal guardian of the child? I'm not. Edgar is the 17-year-old suspect in Friday's shooting in downtown Orlando that left two people dead and several injured. His mother becoming emotional during court. Ma'am, state your name. And just speak into the microphone, okay? Just take a moment, collect yourself. Everything here is being reported. I'm going to speak into the microphone. Now you see now. The judge ruling Edgar would be held until his adjudicatory hearing. State Attorney Andrew Bain says, based on several factors in this case, it's possible Edgar could be charged as an adult. Based on the current information we have right now, there's several aggravating factors. Uh, that would lead us to charge him as an adult, but we need to get to the bottom of the investigation first uh, to figure out um, what exactly is the reason why this happened, uh, which also plays a role in you know, what type of charges that he's going to be facing later on. In Orange County, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6. Man, at this point, he, he doesn't belong on the streets. And uh, I think it's good that the police responded quickly. Because who knows how many more lives could have been lost. Um, but as of right now, two people lost their lives. 25-year-old Tyreek Hill and 19-year-old Timothy Schmidt Jr., who was a college student at UCF, and multiple people were injured. So for this guy, uh, the suspect, Jalen Edgar, 17 years old, he's out there doing non-productive things. And, and it just kind of makes me wonder, like, what goes through one's mind that they decide something like this is okay to do? And the question is always why, you know, why did this happen? Why did he do what he did? And, um, you know, in a lot of cases like this, we never get to find out why, because he's not talking, but whatever this was about, he, he, he's done. And, and, and I say that because, you know, at 17 years old, he's out there with a pistol, which he shouldn't have had. Uh, and then he was in trouble last year for grand theft auto um, I think it was just a matter of time before he graduated to what he ended up doing in that crowd. Um, I, I don't believe that this stuff just happens overnight. I think it's a buildup over time, and it starts uh, at a young age when they're allowed to run amok with no discipline, not being held accountable for their behavior and actions. Um, there was no record of him being enrolled in high school. And to me, that was just means like he, I don't know, dropped out of high school. And if that's the case, what the hell is he doing on a daily basis? Because at 17 years old, when I, I think back to that time, um, for me, before I graduated, I didn't know what I wanted to do after I did graduate. And my father sat me down and said, hey, it's going to be school, work, or the military. And that's pretty much how that conversation went. And so I had already did school, didn't want to go to college, um, and I was already working. So I said, well, let me just try this third option. And I ended up spending 10 years in the in the, uh, the Army. And, and I'm not saying that that's going to be the answer for everybody because it's not for everybody, but at least it's a start and it provides some kind of structure versus being um, this, 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 drain on society and just being caught up in a bunch of non-productive activities, getting in trouble because for this guy, if he is charged as an adult, he's about to be in for a ride. 
This isn't just some um, minor case, you know, of a stolen car or whatever. Two people's lives were taken and others were injured and somebody's got to be held accountable for that. And I'm surprised. I'm, I'm just so surprised that he didn't get smoked either by the cops or some civilian who was legally allowed to carry because uh, this did happen in Florida. But anyway, you know, he he's thrown his life away. And nobody can do anything for him, not his mom or whoever else is in his family. He's made that decision, a bad decision at that, and now he's going to have the answer for his actions. Now, nobody's going to feel sorry for him, and, you know, his mom's in the court crying. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, a thing, it's a thing where, like, nobody's going to care about that. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if she just had to show up because he's still 17, um, but I think what he's kind of counting on, I think, is that he's 17 years old, so he thinks that he's going to be, like, tried in, like, juvenile court or something. But, pfft, you know what? Yeah. yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Because, like I said, people lost their lives. And that's the thing. You know, everybody's all tough and, and, and everything until they're standing in front of the judge facing serious time. So his mom in court crying, that's not going to do him any ounce of good. Um, but I just wish that other people didn't have to get hurt and lose their lives. And it's always like that in these situations, you know, people who don't care about their lives, they don't care about ruining the lives of other people. I mean, if you don't want to do anything productive with your life, that's your right, but don't go out and destroy the lives of other people because you don't give a damn about yours. So y'all take care, stay safe. Um, I know we're coming up on the holiday season and, and people are going to be having more events like these and, and just, you know, just be careful. Keep your eyes peeled and uh, just make better choices. Peace, y'all.